Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning into the web show. I'm your host, Jabari, but you can call me Jabs. Today, we've got some big news for Rogue Company, and I've really taken a liking to the game, so I thought I'd share the news with you all. We finally got an announcement for how Wraith may work, and there's also word of a brand new Rogue, and a few changes for a few characters, so let's get into it. Let's start with what I'm most excited about, which is Wraith. The lead designer of Rogue Company, Scott LaSierra, I hope I'm saying that right, released information on how it's going to work via a Twitter video. He says it will start as a ranked beta and will only be for demolition so far. Now, this could of course change because the game is open to all feedback from players and is still in its early stages. Scott says you will need to be level 30 to play ranked, and the ranks consist of bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master, and of course, rogue. There are also ranked levels, and they're based off of a range of like 3 to 4 levels. So, for example, if you're between levels 10 and 14, you'll be gold. He also released rewards for ranked beta, including this cool looking banner and an icon for players reaching rogue level. Personally, I do like this system and it sounds really balanced so far. As it only being for demolition, I'm hoping they add more game modes for the full ranked system. Moving on to the next juiciest bit of news, a new rogue has been leaked for the game. A Twitter called Rogue Company News and Leaks screenshotted a small Twitter video Rogue Company put out. The tweet indicates that the Rhodes code name is Fixer, which probably means they will be some type of mechanic. It also says he will have a baseball bat, and one of his guns will be the D3D IDMR, which is also used by Talon. I'm just happy they're adding another brother to the team. No word on his official release, but my guess is it will be in the next update or the following one. Scott also released some changes for Glitch and Trench. He says, for Glitch, breaching is one of the hardest roles in Rogue Company, and it's hard for him to do his job without getting a nade tossed at him. Glitch will be getting tenacity, which gives him reduced damage from explosives. As for Trench, he talked about how his passive gives him an edge utility-wise, which means he actually doesn't need reduced damage from explosives, so it's the opposite situation. Trench will not have tenacity in the next update, but he'll have Helping Hand, which lets you revive teammates faster. There are also a lot of weapon changes for each character, but I'm not going to bore you by reading each one, and you could just pause the video. Thank you for watching, people, and keep it locked here for more Rogue Company news and updates. This was actually my first news and updates video for a video game, so if you enjoyed it, if you have any tips for me, let me know on how I can improve. How are you enjoying Rogue Company so far, and are you excited for Ranked? <laughs> I am. I can't wait. Let me know in a comment section below, and may the best of your today be the worst of your tomorrow.